The gunships close in on their target quickly. They will be in firing range very soon. Uh, would you start me a skyway, uh... Realizing they've been caught by surprise, the tanks switch on their metamaterial cloaking devices and vanish. Now the gunships are vulnerable. They back off and retreat. This is Star Trek science fiction. But in the 21st century, real science is not far behind. The new Mountbatten complex at the University of Southampton in the United Kingdom is the jewel in the crown of British nanotechnology. Here, the Optoelectronics Research Centre is leading an interdisciplinary EPSRC program on nanostructured photonic materials. Metamaterials represent a paradigm shift in technology and the beginning of a new photonic revolution. The objective of the research is to provide new materials for this technological revolution. In nature, objects are created by assembling molecules into crystalline solids. In nanotechnology, molecules are designed and manufactured by scientists to create artificial structures called metamaterials. The word metamaterial means materials beyond the imaginable, and these new structures outperform nature in quite startling ways. And they do so at incredibly small scales. The Doric columns on the Parthenon in Athens are one meter in diameter. A knot of wool on your tweed jacket is a thousand times smaller, one millimeter. The tracks on a CD are another thousand times smaller still, one micron. A carbon buckyball is another thousand times smaller, one nanometer, one billionth of a meter. This is the scale at which metamolecules have to be designed and manufactured. Today's technology provides several ways to create nanostructures, such as sophisticated electron beam lithography and nano imprint. Accelerated gallium ions can also be fired at metal surfaces to engrave incredibly small nanoscale patterns and shapes. Nanophotonic metamaterials provide a degree of control over light that was unimaginable even a few years ago. For example, one key challenge being studied by researchers in Southampton is to develop nanophotonic metamaterials for devices that control light with light in telecommunications networks. Currently, vast amounts of information in the form of light pulses make a long and fast journey along an optical fiber and are then converted into electrical signals, routed by electronics and then converted to light just to be sent into another fiber. This can be compared to commuters having to get off one train and run to the connecting train in order to arrive at their final destination. It slows down the journey and uses a lot of energy. If the entire system used nothing but light, then everything would change. And that is one thing that nanophotonic metamaterial research is trying to do, create switches that work only with light. Then the trains could simply pass through the station without stopping, and the commuters move effortlessly from one connection to another at the same time. Obviously, the speed would be much faster, and the energy needed to run global networks much less. Just using light would be a green economy solution to a growing problem. In the United States alone, internet and computer usage now approaches nearly one-tenth of the country's total annual electricity consumption and is rising fast to support increasing demand for more information. Highly sensitive switchable materials can be created by combining metamaterials with other advanced technologies such as phase change technology of rewritable optical disks or magnetic technology of hard drives. Nanoscale semiconductor quantum dots can be applied to the surface of metamaterials. So can carbon nanotubes or exotic superconductors, creating artificial media with unsurpassed characteristics. 
Here, a simple flash of light will change the optical properties in a fraction of a billionth of a second. These are the materials needed to control light signals in the nanophotonic chips of global networks. This is where the multidisciplinary effort of physicists, mathematicians, engineers and material scientists is focused at the University of Southampton. So in many startling ways, science fiction is becoming science fact. The tanks have vanished because the metamaterial has deflected light in a way that it flows around the hidden object with no discernible distortion. So to an observer, it appears as if there is nothing there. The Industrial Revolution changed the fabric of society. And optical fibers carrying light created global information networks. Photonic metamaterials will bring the next technological revolution, providing smarter and greener solutions for all industries where light is used, from telecommunications and data storage to defense and security. Let there be light.